In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, we continue the reading of the book, A Divine Revelation of Hell. Now we are on chapter 14, The Left Arm of Hell. This is about a prophecy from Jesus to all. Listen carefully, my dear friends. I'm going to read for you, and I'm very sure you try to get something from what I read. I'm sorry if I don't read well because English is not my mother language, but still you will catch up, you will know what Jesus wants I want you to do, want you to know. May God bless you, my dear friends. Amo Marie Louise, Amo Malarongo. Jesus said, "There's the things are now beginning in the earth, and are yet to be, and are soon coming upon all the earth. The fiery serpent is a part of the beast. There's the prophecies you are about to read are true. The revelations are true. Watch and pray. Love one another, keep yourselves holy, keep your hands clean. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. Husbands and wives and wives, love each other as I have loved you. I ordained marriage and blessed it with my word. Keep the marriage bed holy. Keep the marriage bed holy. Cleanse yourself from all unrighteousness and be pure, even as I'm pure. The holy people of God have been laid away by the flatterers. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Understanding will come to you if you will open your eye, ears and listen to me. This is the Lord's message to the churches. churches. Beware of false prophets who stand in my holy place and deceive with the flatterers. O earth, my holy people, have fallen asleep to the sound of the first doctrine. Awake, awake, I tell you that all unrighteousness is sin. Cleanse yourself from all sin of the flesh and the spirit. My holy prophets live the holy lives, but you have rebelled against me and my holiness. 
you have brought evil upon yourself. You have sinned and brought yourself into bondage, to sickness and death. You have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled against me. You have departed, departed from my precepts and from my judgments. You have not had kind to the words of my salvation, my servants, the prophet and the prophetess. Curses instead of blessings have come upon you, and still you refuse to turn to me and repent of your sins. If you will turn and repent, and if you will honor me with the fruit of righteousness, I will bless your homes and honor your marriage beds. If you will humble yourselves, yourselves and call upon me, I will hear you and bless you. Listen, you ministers of my holy word. Do not teach my people to sin against their God. Remember that judgment begins at the house of God. Unless you repent, I will remove you for the sins you have taught my people. Do you think that I'm a blind, that I can't, I can't see, and the de- death that I can't hear? You who hold the truth in an lashness and line your pocket with the silver and gold at the expense of the poor repaint, I say, before it is too late. On the day of judgment, you will stand alone before me to give an account of what you did with my holy word. If you call upon me in repentance, I will remove the curse from your lands and bless you with a mighty bless, blessing. If you will repent and be ashamed of your sins, I will have mercy and compassion on you, and I will not remember your sins anymore. Pray that you may be an overcomer. Awake to life and live. Repent to the poor, the people you have led astray and taught false doctrine. Tell them you have sinned and that you have scattered my sheep. Repent to them. Behold, I'm preparing a holy arm. They will do mighty exploits for me and destroy your high places. They are an army of holy men and women, boys and girls. They have been anointed to preach the true gospel, to lay hands on the sick, and to call the sinner to repentance. This is an army of working men, housewives, single men, single women, and school children. They are common people, for not to, for not to many noble, no have responded to my call. In the past, they have been misunderstood and mistreated, abused and rejected. But I have blessed them with holiness, in holiness and in a spirit. In a spirit, they will be. They will begin to fulfill my prophecy and to my will. I will, I will walk in them, talk in them, and walk in them. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is saying that we have to be careful 
those people will come, the prophets and the prophetess, they will be many, but they will be true prophetess. These are they, they who have turned to me with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength. This army will awaken many to lightness and purity of spirit. I will soon begin to move upon them to choose for my army those I desire. I will search for them in the cities and in the towns. Many will be surprised at those I have chosen. You will see them begin to move across the land and to exploit for my name's sake. Watch and see my power at work. Again, I tell you, do not defy the marriage bed. Do not defer, defer the body in which the Holy Ghost dwells. Sins of the body lead to sins of the spirit. Keep the marriage bed holy. I made man for women and women for man, woman for man, and decreed that the two should be united in the holy matrimony. Again, I say, awake. Brothers and sisters, this is what Jesus is telling us. And this is the prophecy from Jesus to all. This is the prophecy from Jesus to all. Brothers and sisters, this is concerning us. Be ready to be in that army of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, let us conclude this prophecy of Jesus to all by the book of the Act of Apostles, chapter 2, from verses 17. This is what I will do in the last days, God says. I will pour out my spirit on everyone. My, your sons and daughters will proclaim my message. Your young men will see visions, and your old men will be will have dreams. Yes, even any, yes, even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will proclaim my message. I will perform miracles in the sky above and wonders on the earth below. There will be blood, fire, and thick smoke. The sun will be dark, darkened, and the moon will turn red as blood. 
before the great and glorious day of the Lord comes. And then whoever calls out to the Lord for help will be saved. The word of God. My brothers and sisters, we can see that this army of God will be and it has started to be because we are among that army. We are fighting against the bad and we continue the battle because Jesus is a triumphant and he is among us. My brothers and sisters, we are lucky to have Jesus who is a triumphant. We are also triumphant. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm-hmm.